it so happened that one day when Jesus and his disciples went to Jericho, a place which is located in the Jordan Valley, and as they were leaving, they were followed by a large crowd. A blind beggar was sitting beside the road. When he heard that it was Jesus from Nazareth, he shouted, Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many people told the man to stop, but he shouted even louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him over. They called out to the blind man and said, Don't be afraid. Come on, he is calling for you. The man threw off his coat as he jumped up and ran to Jesus. Jesus asked, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man answered, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, You may go. Your eyes are healed because of your faith. Right away, the man could see and he went down the road with Jesus. Now this incident took place while Jesus was on the earth. This was one of the miracles and signs that Jesus had done as he was on the earth. Jesus did many miracles and even now he can do miracles if one could call on to him. Now in this story of healing, three process took place. Number one, the blind man heard the truth. This man who was born of blind could only hear the things. Since he was blind, there was only one way of understanding or acknowledging the truth. He might have even been exhausted over what people talked about. He had heard a lot than any other people. As he was sitting beside the road pleading for some coins, he heard what people talked about Jesus. He heard that Jesus was coming by. Although many were following Jesus, not all believed in Jesus as the Son of God. Hence, many would criticize him for what he was doing. The blind man could hear all what people talked about Jesus. Some might have said, look, Jesus is just a miracle worker. Or Jesus is doing miracle because of the power of the evil. And some people said, well, after all, Jesus is the son of Joseph and Mary, who we know. And some people even commented, he is doing some magic to attract people. And there are plenty of comments that people talked about or people made on Jesus. But however, there are people, those who have received the experience and they had made a big change and they had a positive spiritual attraction towards Jesus Christ. So it was in fact a big task for this blind guy to make a choice. Either to believe the negative comments made by the crowd or to believe what people have experience from Jesus. He could have joined the majority who mocked or criticized Jesus as the world is only with the majority. And many a times we also tend to be with the majority group. No matter whether it is true or false, we do not even ask for, but we simply try to be with the majority group. But here, he was not with the majority group. He wanted to accept the truth. He made a big decision. After hearing the, the comments about Jesus, he wanted to trust in him. So he made a big decision that was to accept the truth. He accepted the truth. He did not want to listen to what people thought about Jesus. But rather he wanted to accept and believe in Jesus Christ. That is why 
this blind person addressed Jesus as son of David. Many who had the eyesight or who could accept this truth did not favor this address. By accepting the truth that Jesus is son of David, the blind man accepted Jesus as the son of God as well. That is what the Bible says. If you accept him as a savior, there begin the process of your salvation. Although the process of accepting the truth started by hearing, once he accepted the truth, what he did was he cried out. He called out to Jesus, a complete surrendering of his life. As he was crying out, many people discouraged him, saying, Stop crying. Jesus is busy. And he doesn't want to come to you. There could have been many more comments. But those verses, those discouraging statements are not going to mute this guy. Rather, he kept on calling on the name of Jesus Christ. You know, when someone calls out the name of Jesus Christ, there is power in the name. This name Jesus has got some power in it. And today, if you have never called on to Jesus, call him today, Jesus, I need you. There is a power in it. And we read that Jesus stopped at his cry and turned at him and ask his people to bring him to Jesus. By hearing that Jesus wanted to meet him, he went blindly. He wanted to follow Jesus blindly. Remember, he always needed the help of someone to make a decision or to put anything into action. If he would have asked about making a decision, to follow Jesus Christ definitely people would have said amen don't you have anything else to do you are simply wasting your time in spite of all the comments he avoided every other command he avoided listening to any of the commands it's very important for you and me to do not listen to any negative comments there could be hundreds of people those who want to discourage you if you go to church there could be thousands of people those who would completely ignore you even discourage you once you accept Jesus as your personal Savior never listen to those sort of talk never listen to the fork but just listen and obey what Jesus said Jesus looking at this blind man said come on come to me and I would have imagined he simply followed Jesus blindly. In order to follow Jesus, he made a decision of his own. When he took a step forward to follow Jesus, he started realizing the miraculous healing in his life. That's what brings us to the third process. He experienced the truth. He listened to the truth he accepted the truth when he listened to the truth and accepted as it is he was led to experience the truth experience the truth was the last part of this process of being healed he believed in Jesus and thought what people think about me and in what I'm doing is not going to bother me at all I need a healing touch from Jesus which the world and the people around me cannot give. When he cried out from the bottom of his heart, he started realizing the healing touch of Jesus Christ. You need to break down yourself to get healed or to have deliverance in your life. What people think about you is none of your business. Call out to Jesus today. This blind guy, once when he got the eyesight back, he followed Jesus Christ. His life was, until then, completely beside the road. If you wanted to see him, 
he is always there on the side of the road but you see a big change in his life taking place as he accepted jesus as his lord and savior so what could one learn from this incident you will not be the same if you believe in jesus christ your vision might be so limited or you might be spiritually blind today you need a healing from jesus ask the lord lord i want to see what is your will in my life some people are blind about the future they, their eyes are open they can see they think that they can see things but they are not able to see things properly you need a heavenly touch my dear brother today you need a heavenly touch from jesus due to this pandemic situation you may not be able to see any future in your life but today i want to tell you that you need a special touch from the lord when jesus touches your life it will make a big change in your life i want to pray for you you've been listening to many messages like this you know the truth you have heard a lot of truths about jesus you heard that jesus is the only one savior you heard that jesus is the only way to heaven you are still thinking in your life whether to accept the truth if you haven't accept the truth the experience of the truth will take place longer you need to still wait and wait and wait until you receive the experience from god now i want to tell you my dear brothers and sisters you have to accept the truth that jesus christ is the savior jesus christ can heal us and he will do mighty things and if once you start at accepting the truth that will slowly lead you to have the heavenly experience the experience of christ in your life break down yourself cry out to him today lord i need something special today lord i need your heavenly touch lord i need a mental touch i need a physical touch as well pray out to him cry out to him thank you jesus thank you jesus lord i want to pray for my dear brothers and sisters those who've been listening to this message we know that your word is so powerful powerful than any other things in the world and i want to pray especially for everyone those who are listening to this message pray that the lord you would speak to their hearts today lord let them not just hear the message but accept it and then let them experience your special power in their lives lord hallelujah and i pray that the lord you would continuously bless them all lord and i want to pray for people those who have lost the spiritual eyesight those who are lacking the heavenly wisdom i pray that the lord you would touch them as well thank you jesus for listening and answering our prayers in the mighty name of jesus christ i humbly pray amen i think this little message gave you a new inspiration if you are hearing this message for the first time i want to say that we have a church in bonn called adona international church if you are in germany you are very welcome to contact us it was nice talking to you today and i pray that the lord would give you a blessed weekend and a week too this is here once again i sak from bond signing out now if you have any prayer requests please write to us aicbond@gmail.com or to our whatsapp number 0049176471 9364 amen god bless you